Canada YouTube. It is Katie. I forgot my name. I literally forgot my own name. Um, so I kind of forgot that I was going to be doing this today. So I've already gone through a good bit of the day. Where am I? I've already gone through a little bit of my day, but that's cool. Um, I woke up, had breakfast, came to school, went to my first class. Now I'm leaving the gym. And I'm headed to my car. But I'm like slightly lost, but only slightly. I think I know where I'm going. It's really quiet on campus, so I feel a touch awkward. But I'm about to go back to my car to get my lunch so I can eat and not die. But at my first class of the day was theater. And I rather liked that class. And it just kind of made me feel like today there's a lot to be learned. I like college. I like learning, apparently. I didn't think I would ever say that about myself, but here we are. I think I like learning. And in theater today, the teacher was like talking about theater principles, but relating them to life, as a good professor would do. And it just made me think that there's a lot to be understood about this world. And a lot of the classes that I take, not a lot of them, but some of the classes that I take, I think are just, you know, I have to take this class, let me take it, or I think they're going to be cute. And that's it. I actually learned something of moderate value. And I just, I advise people to go to college. I rather like it. But maybe I'm just a nerd. One thing about walking around the student center is that you can always smell P.F. Chang's. Not P.F. Chang's. You can always smell Panda Express, because we have a Panda Express. It always makes me hungry. And I have my own food, but I'm always just like, yeah, but I want Panda Express. But I don't even have Panda Express in the so I don't know why I'm playing those games with myself. And also, I feel a little awkward, because I'm just, like, talking to you. But, like, on another note... I don't know anybody here, and nobody here knows me, so what does it matter, you know? The student center is kind of the key to getting around this place. Like, if there's anything that I think is rather far away, I just cut through the student center one way or another, and they're not as far as you would think. Like, the gym and my parking deck are supposed to be on opposite sides of the school from each other, but it probably takes me, like, five minutes to get from one to another because I cut through the student center and also this parking lot. Uh, you're supposed to walk on the sidewalk, but, you know, diagonal is more efficient, so. So I'm still figuring out my schedule for things that aren't class. Um, my first class is at 11. It ended at 12. I ended up going to the gym. Like I said, it's now 1.30. I'm going to go eat. I have to get on the... I don't have another class until 5, but I like to go... Because I have to go from one campus to another, so I like to do the bus stop at 4. So pretty much... Uh, let's see... I think I could be done eating by 2.30, and then I have to go to the bookstore. So it's kind of like an hour to do what I need to do, which today is going to be going to the bookstore and getting the code for my theater book, because I had no money and I couldn't buy it when I was supposed to buy it. But I've got it now. I just have to go and actually pick it up. Today I've learned I should probably just go ahead and bring my lunchbox with me, because walking from the gym to the parking deck after just having worked out, is not really a realistic goal to set for myself. I don't know about this. Plus, I parked on the seventh floor. So I need these elevators to work. I'm not going up seven flights of stairs. Sorry. Going up. I feel like from looking at them that my shorts are supposed to be kind of wasted. But first of all, my waist is too small for that, and then second, they're way too short if I do that. But they look weird, like down where I have them now. And I just set up my more. I don't know if I did this. I actually parked on like the ramp between the sixth and the seventh floor, but it's easier to go to the seventh floor and then walk down the ramp than to go to the sixth floor, walk around everything, and then walk up the ramp. <sighs> Tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, Wednesday when I have class again, I'm absolutely bringing my lunchbox to my first class and to the gym with me. Uh, it'll be annoying to carry, but this, well, actually, no, no, I'm going to leave my lunchbox because if I bring my lunchbox, I may as well bring my laptop too because, is this the ramp? Or, it's another ramp. I may as well bring my laptop too because I can't and water is coming from my water bottle onto my leg. I might as well bring my laptop too because I can't actually like 
you know, I'm going to have to come back for it anyways, but I'm not going to bring my laptop because it's heavy, and I don't want to carry that all day long. I only, like, carry my laptop when I absolutely need it, so if I'm not using that laptop, I'm not going to get it, and I may as well just leave my lunchbox in the car with it. Um, I tried to get a light laptop. I think it said it was, like, 1.5 pounds. I didn't recognize my car for a second. I think it said it was, like, 1.5 pounds, but... It is 9 or 9 p.m. I just got out of my last class. I know that this lighting is trash. Like, it's actually trash. Like, there's a trash can next to me. That's the lighting. But I did my best. Um, yeah, so I just got out of class. I went to all my classes, didn't film anything because I'm a bad YouTuber. Um, also, a lot of my teachers say that you can't use cell phones and they, like, actually enforce it. So I can't be up in there with my phone. Because, you know, I'll get in trouble and get kicked out of class and not learn anything and be unsuccessful. But I made this. Okay, you can't see it because I put everything on top of it. I made this. It's trash. There are like multiple notches on the handles basically for the brush, not the brush, the paper, so that you can make different pictures. Okay. I'll do one and one this time. The other side was two and three, if anyone cares. And I have this handle. doesn't always work, to which we switch to just turning it over here. And Did you just, like, just figure that out? Yeah, I saw, like, when you look up um, how to make a drawing machine, the first thing that comes up is paragraph, but it's, like, someone else made it in here. It's, like, different. You use the cardboard, like, the corrugated side and make gears, and it's really complex, and I'm just not smart. So I wanted to use pulleys because they're simple, and I had yarn. And so I just kind of trial and errored until it worked. And the other classes are um, Janet's. So they're just like, you know, history notes, things like that, things, things of that nature. So yeah, um, I went to get my theater textbook today because you have to do a reading by Wednesday. But my textbook is on back order. So I'm just like, okay, well, I hope somebody in the class got it before I went on back order. And I'm not, I don't understand how it's on back order because it's an e textbook code. Like, just give me the numbers and just let me use the textbook. Like, what do you mean backward? Like, it's not even a book, it's digits. Like, I'm confused. But, anyways, we gotta get to the bus stop. The bus usually takes forever to get here, so I'm really not too concerned. But I gotta get to the bus stop and get back to. Um, my campus so I can get to my car and get out this house. I, mean, um, I have some macaroni, but I don't want to eat it. I'm hoping I can not be hungry, but if I get hungry, then I'll eat my macaroni, obviously, because that's the last of what's in my lunch bag. What? <laughs> my, the last of what's in my lunch box. Um, my arm is tired and the sliding garbage. Hello, and welcome to Tuesday. I didn't, uh, film anything yet because I woke up and I had to just leave the house really quickly so I didn't think I would have a chance to but I'm currently sitting in a waiting room area of some place because my car got a flat and you know I was prepared I had a whole nother tire and all the tools and I was like I just changed the tire gag is no um I need a key to remove a thing off of a bolt to the bedroom. I can't get the tire off without a key. And I don't have the key. My dad doesn't have the key. AAA doesn't have the key. Car store doesn't have the key. And Nissan themselves.
didn't really film much from yesterday, but that's just because I had a lot going on. Um, today is Thursday. I don't have class. I really only have class Monday and Wednesday, so I don't have class any other day of the week, so I pretty much do my homework Tuesday, Thursday, Friday as best as I can, and then I try and, like, you know, hang on the weekends, but it doesn't always work out that way. But anyway, today... I am starting the first chunk of my homework. I was supposed to go to study date with a friend, but she got called into work. We have not seen each other in like two years because we're both always busy. Like something always comes up and it's hikey garbage, but it's fine. I can do my homework by myself. Um, here I am writing my to-do list and I decided to start filming because this is quite overwhelming to me. I always have a very long to-do list and most of this is just one class, like what in the actual. But I'm just going to keep writing and you'll see how completely trash my life is. So I have this map exam coming up. Uh, today is the 30th, so it's this day. So I kind of want to spend my time studying for this map exam. But if I do that, then I only have a week to study for, well, a week and two days to study for my in-class exam. I just don't have time. I like to study for in-class exams for two or three weeks. So, um, let's see. If I study for it this Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday. That's a lot of studying, right? <laughs> is that enough? I don't know. Like, but I also need to study for the map exam, and I don't know if I can study for both at once and like retain all the information that I need to. Because the map exam is legit. Like it's like countries, but not like countries today. It's not like France. It's old countries, like the Holy Roman Empire and countries that don't exist on the modern map. So I have to learn that. It's like rivers, cities. It's it's a lot. So that I don't know how to study for this. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess I'll just fail. It's 2.17. I started my homework at maybe noon? 11? So it's not been long at all. Um, I've added things to my list, but I've also crossed some things off my list. And it looks like I've crossed off a lot, but the majority of the things I've crossed off are quick, easy things. Like, check your email. That just takes a couple of seconds. And some of the things I've crossed off, I've crossed them off because I haven't been able to do them because the professors haven't posted the materials yet. Um, so I still have my biggest things to do, like my reading just so much and I keep thinking about how behind I am in theater because I don't have the textbook yet I bought it but it's still on back order and other people in my class have it so my professor is not very understanding of this problem but I don't have the textbook yet I am like chapters and chapters and chapters behind it's like the third week of school and I don't have the textbook um I have to do reading for government reading for <sighs> wellness, I have to do government, studying for a map test, and studying for like our regular exam. I just... I look pitiful. I have to buy tickets for this theater event. Taking a theater appreciation class, basically. I have to buy tickets for the show. They're $55, and the textbook was already, like, $40, and we have to go to three shows, four shows. This is only show number one, and in the syllabus it says tickets are usually $15, and I don't know where sis got that information, and... Okay, check this out, though. Improving my lighting has made me slightly happier. So I'm about to do my reading for Gov, government, and taking modern world history, even though the class starts in the 1500s. Like, I don't know how that's modern, but okay. Um, and I'm just going to do the reading for this class because it's my least favorite re reading, and it's usually the longest reading. So if I can get this done, I can at least say I have the biggest challenge out of the way, and I cannot fall apart, and I can just do my homework, and, you know, be the one <laughs> to pass my classes. Uh, my goal this semester was to get a 4.0. I don't know if that's really realistic, 
but <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'm especially mad at myself though sometimes because I'm only in four classes and I'm just... I don't even want to get into explaining why I'm only in four classes. Like, there's so much. But I'm only in four classes, so it shouldn't be hard. I should be easy breezy my way through life. I literally get stressed every time I go and write my homework. And I'm like, if I was in five classes, how would I forget? How would I breathe? How would I live? How? Let me just do this homework because I'm stressing myself out again. So I'm looking for the 30th on the syllabus when the 30th is a Thursday. This class meets Monday, Wednesday. So I'm like, it's on the syllabus. What do I do? Look at the 29th. I mean, this whole entire class is a joke. We have so much reading for this class. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, I didn't finish the reading for last week. And I knew I didn't finish the reading for last week, but I thought I got closer than I did. But I did it. But I'm not going to go back and finish it because that's just too much work. And I'm actually just going to let stress on kill myself. that I give you guys a tragic update. It is 5.10pm. I have read a very pitiful amount of pages. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Page amount. I've read nine pages. And I've also procrastinated a lot. I applied for a bunch of babysitting jobs and I watched some YouTube videos and I just sat here and stressed about how garbage I am, so. I'm gonna try and finish this and then try and do something with my life so that I'm not such a disappointment and a failure to society in general, you know? So let me just... Thursdays are hard. Homework days are hard. Like, I really just wake up and... So, I just wanted to film a conclusion. So, excuse the lighting, please. I, I'm doing the best I can. It is... 2.09 a.m. on what is now Saturday. When I woke up it was Friday, but now it's 2 a.m., so it's Saturday. And between today and yesterday, I've managed to get a lot less stressed because I realized we have Labor Day. So I have Monday off, and so I feel like, I just felt like, okay, maybe I can get through this. And then today, I finished my reading for my history class, I finished my reading for my wellness class, and now I'm doing some maps for my history class. I did... All of the, um, what is it? Seas, bays, gulfs, and mountains. All I have left are the rivers. And another map of Mesopotamia, but that's a challenge for tomorrow. And I'm just feeling like I got a lot done, and I feel a lot less stressed and a lot worse about life in general. I was really so stressed this morning. Like, I tell y'all, I cannot handle anything. I had to go to work today, also. I should mention that I woke up at... 7 a.m. and it's now 2 so it's nearing the 24 hour mark. I had to go to work this morning and when I woke up this morning I was just like I can't do this, I, not work, like I just can't do this day, I can't do this existence, I can't do school, I, I just, it's not possible. But work calmed me down, I got some work done, found a YouTuber that I like, my laptop is dying, and I'm feeling productive. So overall, decent week. And we're gonna end the vlog here. I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for sticking around because I know my last vlog was pretty tragic and this one got tragic for a second there. And I will see all of you guys next time. Until then, toodaloo. Make sure you clickety-clack on another video.